wanna know is secret. Hey guys. Hey. So today is our last day of being here at the Breathless Resort in Punta Cana. We're so sad about it, but we're really excited to go home and see your doggy. Um, so we wanted to do a comprehensive review of everything. I even have a list. <laughs> um, so first off, everyone here, all the staff is super amazing. We flew in at like, what was it, five? Five in the morning. Five in the morning. We got here at like six in the morning and generally check-in is at three or that's what it says. They were able to get, get us in immediately. We didn't have to wait at all. There's somebody at the front desk waiting and they got us in and everything. They gave us a great room. Yeah, awesome room. We were thinking about changing because we wanted the downstairs room uh, so we had access right to the pool. Uh, but we decided to stay on the second floor and it was probably the best decision we did. Um, it's just a little bit more private. You can't tell obviously right now, but um, it's just a lot more private because it's not right there in front of all the people who are swimming past your room and stuff. Because it is technically a public pool, though it is a little bit more private because it's behind uh, all the hotel rooms. And it's a lot more quieter uh, on the side uh, rooms. Um, there's not very many people swimming in the side pools, so I definitely recommend those. I agree, and there's even like a private bar over there too. And that was the guy we went to. You always gotta find your like go-to bartender guy, say hola, buenos dias, you know, order your drink, go back to the dude. Um, that's always the best. So the first thing I wanted to review, and you guys can go through the menu and like take a look, I'll try and put the times so you can skip through some of the things you don't wanna hear. First thing I wanted to go through is the bedroom. The most comfortable bed I have ever slept in. Like hands down. This is up there with all those like W bed hotels and stuff. No, no, no. This is like... Very, very nice. So, yeah. there's, there's so many pillows, different pillows. Uh, every pillow is comfortable. There's soft ones, there's hard ones. Yeah, and I believe there is a pillow menu too, but we didn't need to use it because we just had amazing pillows, just right, just standard pillows where are um, super soft and amazing. And it's a, a California king, so it's huge too. Um, so, and then it was really nice because when we came in, they had robes and slippers available. Obviously you can't take them, but um, we use the crap out of those. And then each room has its own balcony with its own private tub. Which we also didn't use, but it's like a jacuzzi tub. Yeah, you can turn it on and it's like a jacuzzi. Yeah. And it's kind of like tucked away in the corner too, so it's kind of private. Um, each bedroom has a safe as well, um, which we found useful just in case. You never know. You can never be a little bit too safe. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the bathroom. So the bathroom was really big and there was no carpet in here, which is really nice because um, you don't have to worry about like nasty or anything yeah. um, so it stays really cool the air conditioning is like pumping the entire time you don't need a card uh, it's just on all the time as long as the back door is closed that's what I noticed we have a fan up here too oh yeah they also have a ceiling fan which is awesome yeah. um, so the bathroom has like a small light up vanity mirror and it's got two sinks and then the shower head which is super awesome for him because he's like 6'6 six, six. Um, had, it was like the rainfall ones where it's like right over your head and it just falls. It's awesome. And the fact that he fit under it is amazing because yeah. back in the States, it's like, I think it's pretty much impossible to find a shower that he actually fits all the way under. So that was really nice. And it's really big too, the shower. Um, and there's also a bidet. I tried it. It was kind of weird, not my style. I'm sticking to good old toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is in, in its own like little uh, room with like a door so if you're you know private about that kind of stuff you can stay private um, the mini fridge the mini fridge uh, is always stocked they refill it every night uh, they have everything from beer to water to Sprite Coke uh, Fanta everything you want, you want. Uh, they always keep it stocked um, I think they have a, a partnership with Coca-Cola. Everything they have is like a Coca-Cola product. Just a heads up. So they got Diet Coke. They call it Coca-Cola Light. Yeah. 
Um, and then there's a, we also ordered room service for breakfast yesterday. Uh, there were reviews and stuff online about it taking a long time, and it did take a long time. I think we ended up waiting like an hour, but it is a ton of food, let me tell you what. Um, and it was really good. Um, I, that kind of like takes us into the next thing is um, all the food, and we'll go into that in, uh, in just a second. But I also wanted to cover one of my complaints about this room was that it is kind of dark. So over by where the sliding glass door is that leads to the balcony, there's like a full length mirror, which is obviously great because I gotta check myself out before I go out. <laughs> but it sucks because it's kind of dark. Um, it's just not very well lit in here at night. Um, there are a bunch of lights, but they're kind of <laughs> yeah. dim. They're not really giving out too much light. Yeah, because it would have been a perfect place to like sit down, do makeup, do makeup. All right. So we have our main pool and then there's like a big pool next to it. It's a lot more, um, there's a lot more shaded seating and that's where they have like all the games that go on. We watch like a water polo game go down. And there's volleyball, there's ping pong. Oh yeah, yeah, right next to the towels and stuff. So that pool's like huge and I wish it went around but there's no pools that go around. There's no lazy rivers per se. Um, but that one's a little bit more shallow and they have floaties all around too at all the pools um, Which are really nice. They have the little like um, chairs that are inside the pool. Oh, yeah really chairs, but they're, they're they're like lounge Chairs, but they're not really chairs. They're built into the pool. Yeah, so there's like each pool has its own little shallow area where you can just kind of lay out um, and then of course they have amazing poolside service Actually, really anywhere you go, they have amazing service. Yeah. A lot of times, even in the main um, like area where they have all the shows and things that go down at night, we got better service sitting at a table than standing at the bar. Yeah, so it's it's amazing. And, uh, there's yeah. always somebody at, around that you can call for drinks or anything you want. Yes. So. Um, poolside service amazing however uh there is very limited bathrooms outside as far as i know for at least the entire time i was here i'm pretty sure i've only seen one bathroom out there so it is limited but it's never busy and it might be because the time of year we here we're here um that it's not as busy because i think it's off season because it's supposed to be hurricane season but we're in august here, yeah so early august but everything was amazing yeah. The, uh, we saw so much sun. I've been tracking the weather like a week before we came and um, it was hardly ever cloudy. Mm -hmm. right? That was really nice. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of shaded seating out there um, under these like little, I don't know what they're called. Umbrella things? Umbrella things. Pilates. Yeah. Yeah, whatever they're called. They're like made out of palm trees, but they're umbrella yeah. kind of things. Yeah, we'll post a picture of it. Um, but yeah, so they all have a lot of uh, shaded area except for the main party pool. That was the only one that didn't have quite as much shaded area. And seating. Seating and was seating. kind of pretty limited. Uh, yeah, usually the big events go on in the big, uh, big the pool, the pool. main party yeah. pool. So um, usually all the spots are taken by the time the party starts. Which so. is usually around like 3.30ish. Yeah. But by then we were taking our siesta. Yeah. We napped quite a bit <laughs> in our comfortable bed. Um, so, and then there's the beach. Um, the beach was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it's not one of the white sand beaches and the water wasn't like super, super, super clear, mm -hmm. but it was pretty clean. Um, there was a lot of seaweed but once you walk past it, it was it's pretty clear. And they clean it up every morning. Uh, they yeah, take all the seaweed out. And, I don't know um, what they do with it. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually right. really interesting. So we finally went out there today early enough to see them cleaning it up. And they had like a big old, what is it called? A tractor mm -hmm. type thing. And they were like literally Sweet like bulldozing it out. it out of the way. It was crazy how much... Seaweed. Sounds like that there's a lot of seaweed, but there's once like, they clean it up, once they it's clean awesome. it up, you can, uh, you can easily walk into the water right. and get yeah, tossed. Uh, everyone swims in it. Yeah, and, and it's pretty shallow, pretty far out. I personally don't like being in the ocean because it kind of freaks me out. But um, you're pretty much like 
I'm 5'3", so it pretty much stays at like chest level pretty far out. Um, some people were saying there is coral. There is indeed coral on the outskirts, so just kind of be careful. But you can see in the water. You can tell yeah, when there's something on the floor, when it gets kind of dark. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's pretty clean. Mm -hmm. um, sand is... There was always room on the... the uh... On like the lounge chairs, chairs. Yeah. yeah there was always seating out there too mm -hmm. uh the ca they do have cabanas and they have like bottles of iced mm -hmm. bottles of drinks and stuff um but that i think there was a reservation cost right correct yeah there's a reservation cost for that um the prices might change but for us it was they tried to charge us 70 dollars, but uh, we went out there the first night or the first day, and we were sitting out in the mm -hmm. in the lot or in the cabana, and nobody said anything. You just don't get the champagne and the I yeah, the, yeah. So you can order food on your cabana and everything else. But uh, if you just want to lay out on the cabana, I, I don't like think no problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's also dinner on uh, on the beach. Uh, that's a, that's an extra cost as well, but it's a beautiful uh, setting. Like candlelit dinner, mm -hmm. and really it's good. during the sunset, so it's really really pretty. We didn't do it, but um, yeah, it, it's really nice. Yeah, if you're here for like you know honeymoon mm -hmm. or something like that, I want to say you told me because um, we talked to the guy about it and they said they come in well, like while you're eating dinner out there they come into your room right, and they fill like the hot tub in the back and they like rose petal it up and whatnot so it's pretty cool maybe next time um the next thing is um we went on an excursion yeah we did it was really fun. We booked it through, so we didn't want to book it online because we knew, you know, it's probably the most you'll pay is through the internet. Mm -hmm. So we ended up waiting to get here and they actually have guys who walk around. Um, and they're really nice. Mm -hmm. they, it's not like they harass you per se, but uh, they do come around, they ask, you know, if you're interested. So we ended up doing the boogie tour. It was called yeah. like the beach boogie or something like that. Um, and it, we chose that one because the price was really good um, and it wasn't very long. We didn't want to be gone all day because that's how much we loved it here. Yeah. Uh, we're all about relaxing. Yeah. So we ended up doing, a, it was like a four hour tour. Um, we took these dune buggies out to like the countryside. No, we went to see a cave. Mm -hmm. We went to the white water. white water or white sand beach. Oh yeah, to Macau Beach. We went there. We went there. We um, coffee. Yeah, we went to like a countryside and saw how some of the people live, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, and they showed us how they make coffee, and I bought some coffee and chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, and they show you like cigars and stuff mm -hmm. and how they make them. Um, it was pretty fun. I would recommend it. It was uh, short and sweet. We got back in time to still go have dinner and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we also went shopping outside of the resort. Uh, so if you walk right outside the resort, literally not even a five minute walk down the street, there's like a little marketplace um, of these like little privately owned shops. And so that's where we did all of our uh, souvenir shopping. There's also one on the beach if you uh, go out of the resort. Uh, we did not go out there. Um, we stayed in the resort, mm -hmm. but uh, if you go out the front end, you, uh, the beach, a the beach there. side, yeah. yeah. And there's like a little sign when it says you're leaving Breathless mm -hmm. uh, Resort. Um, I will say, so I think this is where people were writing reviews saying like the shop owners were really pushy and yeah. this and that. And they are, I don't think they quite understand American culture. We did get a couple of guys who were like, I know how you guys are, you know, you just need to be you know, like quiet and just be left alone, but you couldn't stay away long enough. <laughs> um, that's just how they are, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to make their money too. Yeah, so, try to hope so. Yeah, just, you know, we went back, we went the first time to go see, and then we can't, we ended up going back. Um, and you know, really the best way to do it is just name your price. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the best way because of course they're not going to tell you what you want to hear because 
They want to make as much money as they can. So the best way to do it really is to name your price. For example, I bought like this super cute little pillow. Um, and I mean, I didn't want to haggle too much. That was like $15. So it's like, okay, will you give it to me for 12 or, you know, you have to name your own price. That's going to be the best way. Um, otherwise, and, and they go down in price a lot. Um, one guy, we tried to buy an album from, and he tried to charge us what twenty five bucks, and he almost we yeah. almost got him to go down to seven dollars, but we yeah. decided that we didn't want the album anyways. Because so. we had bought a picture frame. Mm -hmm. I'm into picture frames. <laughs> One of those. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of shopping there. Um, even during the excursion on at Macau Beach, there was a lot of shopping there. Um, yeah. I think the last thing I had is, um, oh, so um, just a couple of random things, I guess. Uh, should I talk about the game? Yes, that's your thing. <laughs> so <laughs> three of like the five days we were here, I did go to the gym, I'm really into it. Um, so I was really surprised when I went to, to go over there, they have a pretty full on gym. It's not huge, but it's pretty big. It's pretty spacious. Um, it's split into two areas and they do, they have everything. They have free weights, they have a bench. Um, they have, of course, your good old treadmill, ellipticals, um, kettlebells. They even have a punching bag. Um, they have mats. Um, weighted balls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every, it's just a really comprehensive gym. It was pretty, pretty impressive, I gotta say. Um, and then everything is really clean. Even like walking down the hallways and stuff, the floor is always super clean. And same with the gym, they have like it's just everything is super clean. And the nice thing too is that they use filtered water, water everywhere, so you don't have to get all crazy anal about like brushing your teeth with bottled water, water, water or whatever. Everything's Good. Just don't drink it, you know. Mm -hmm. Use your mini fridge. Yeah. Yeah, everything's clean. They, uh, like, I'm really surprised that I would think that since it's on the beach, there would be a lot of sand walking around and to the room and stuff. But they clean it up really, really nice. There's never any dirt anywhere. Yeah. We notice. So. And same with housekeeping. When they come in, they like mop your floors. Mm -hmm. So literally every day they will come and mop your floor. It's a, it's they're really um, on top of their game. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, and then so they also had oh kind of random thing about the room is they do have regular outlets for us American people. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put a picture up of that. You just cannot use the three prong uh, uh, outlet. You can't. Huh. Uh, you can only use the uh, the regular two prong. Um, outlets and the outlets look kind of weird uh, we'll show you a photo of it but the regular uh, devices fit in it and they charge and everything else so we have an iPhone uh, we have a camera that um, we charged uh, what else did we use it for I think that's about it iPhone mm -hmm. iPad my hair hair straightener hair straightener they have hair dryer it blows really hard they have an iron um, and then the last thing, because we'll do food separately, mm -hmm. is um, the shows. Their E-Team is so amazing. We went to their circus show. They had a white beach party. They had a lingerie party or something. They had a mega dance party <laughs> yesterday. Uh, and it's just, they put a lot of effort into their entertainment. And it really shows. And mm -hmm. you can tell that they have a lot of fun doing it. Um, it was just a lot of, it was a good time watching them. They're yeah. really, um, you know, they, they really market it and they want you to come out. Um, it's not like, you know, you don't have to pay extra for it. You just yeah, go and just, just go. play. Yeah. And they really do put a lot of effort into it. Uh, even last night they were already setting up for, uh, today's party, which is today at three, but they were setting up at midnight. They were mm -hmm. still uh, putting all the stuff up and everything else so mm -hmm. they really work really really hard for it yeah 
And speaking of working hard, we actually went to the Snack Nocturno, which is like basically their night snack, which was from like 11.30 to 2 a.m. And even then you'd expect it just to be kind of like on a cruise where you go get your own food, you sit down. But even still at like, we went at like one o'clock and there's still table side service where he will come, pour you water, pick up your plates. You know, it's, um, they really do a good job of taking care of their guests here. Yeah. 100%. Um, and then the last thing we have to talk about, probably our biggest subject, is food. Oh, yeah. I made sure we ate somewhere different every single day, with the exception of breakfast, because breakfast was always a buffet, and I was totally cool with that because I had to go get my freshly fried donut every single morning. And we didn't go to one restaurant. We oh, went, right. Uh, the Hibachi Grill, Silk City. Mm -hmm. um, that one requires reservations only for the Hibachi Grill. But we, unfortunately, we waited till Thursday, yesterday, um, our last night here, and they were not open. So each restaurant has its own day where they close just once uh, a week. And unfortunately, they were closed yesterday, so we didn't get to go to that one. So I recommend making reservations early Yeah. for that. That's Plenty the only um, restaurant that you need reservations for. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely recommend making a reservation early if you want to go there. Mm -hmm. We also did not eat at Kibe, Kibe, because um, he's not into Lebanese food. Uh, but we did eat at the Italian restaurant, which was called Spumante. We went to uh, Culinaria. We went to, we went to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of them except for Kibe and South City. Yep. Um, highly recommend literally everything I ate was delicious um, except for uh, Spumante the Italian restaurant I don't I think that was my least favorite it was um, still good it was still delicious yeah because I I literally ordered like four dishes from each place I went <laughs> I kid you not <laughs> um, and uh, what did I get there I got like some beef stew and it was just kind of really fatty compared to everything. Um, but that was the only thing I really didn't like. Their fried chicken here is bomb. Their potatoes, holy crap, so good. Whether it's in the form of like french fries or roasted potatoes, their potatoes just, they taste so good. I think every, every, all the food here tasted really, really yeah. like rich in flavor and very- Even their yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yogurt was good. The fried chicken, oh, so good. Um, the Barefoot Grill, we always had Barefoot Grill for lunch because usually we're like laying out by the pool. By so the it's, beach. yeah, or by the beach. And it's just kind of like an open grill area and you can just walk up in your bikini or your bathing suit. Um, and it's like an outside. Yeah, it's right, almost like right on the beach. beach. So it's really nice to just go grab food and go back to your mm -hmm. lounge chair and just hang out. Yeah, and they have like pretty simple stuff. They always have like a couple of different salads, like caprice or like an olive or a pasta salad. They always had fruit, always had dessert, um, pizza, nachos, hot dog, hamburger, very American style, um, which was kind of nice for us just because that's what we're used to. Um, but everything was really good. And each restaurant had like a three course meal, like full mm -hmm. on menu, like super fancy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of fun to like get dressed up and stuff. Yeah, you don't have to, um, we did it. Yeah, uh, they're not strict. They're not strict This ain't like all. America. Um, there's only one restaurant that's that's formal, but <laughs> we didn't know and we just went. You didn't know. Yeah, I we just went. <laughs> We just went and just regular stuff yeah. and they let us in. They like went in shorts and Yeezys, mm -hmm. so. Yep, and we didn't even realize until afterward that it was formal. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, what else? I think that's it. For now. It, yeah, for now. Um, again, this place is amazing. Uh, Highly recommended. Yeah. I literally, we were talking about all the bad reviews we read and man, you really, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. We had the most amazing. With such a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. Everything been, was. All right, I've been on many trips and I've been in all-inclusive resorts, but this one definitely tops it, so. 
If you have any questions, let us know. Yeah, let us know down below.